Hello, and welcome to Cooking Lessons for Dad, where you learn to cook healthy, cook easy. My name is Karen Breyer, and today we are going to cook a whole spaghetti squash. This is a really easy way to cook spaghetti squash. You don't have to try and cut it while it's raw and really hard. The ingredients in this recipe are one medium spaghetti squash and salt and pepper to taste. And of course, you could put other toppings on when it's cooked if you like, like pasta sauce, Parmesan cheese, whatever you like. The first thing that you need to do is preheat the oven to 425 degrees, and I've done that. Next, you're gonna line a baking pan with foil or a silicon baking mat. And I was going to use parchment paper, but I remembered you need to not use that above 400 degrees. So we're cooking at 425, so I'm gonna use foil. So before we put it in the oven, we need to pierce our spaghetti squash with a knife several times all around. That will allow the steam to come out while it's cooking. So just make some holes, be careful. We wanna do it on all sides. Okay, I think that's enough holes. Okay, we're gonna place the squash on a baking pan and we're gonna cook it 35 to 45 minutes or until a knife pierces the skin easily. Okay, we'll go put it in the oven next. Okay, I'm gonna turn the squash over in about 20 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes. I turned the squash halfway. I also moved the oven rack down because it was getting pretty dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and check to see how soft it is now. So I'm gonna test it and see if it's soft and it does go in nice and smooth. So I'm gonna let it cool and then we'll come back to cut it. Okay, I've let the spaghetti squash cool a bit. So next, um, carefully, we're gonna cut off both ends just a little bit. And if it's hot, you can use a hot pad, it's still hot. I'm gonna do the other side. Next, I'm just gonna cut it in half. You can set it on the top if you want. Cut straight down. And open it up. Now I'm gonna scrape out the seeds. And if you like, you can let it cool a little bit more. I might have to. One utensil that works really good if you have one is a grapefruit spoon. It has those little ridges on it. I used to have one. I don't know what happened to it, but I remember that worked really well to get the seeds out. Oh, I lost some of my squash with that. Try not to take too much of the squash. Just get the seeds are more gentle. And the fork might help to get the ones that are stuck. Okay, the last two seeds. Next, we're going to take out the spaghetti. Our spaghetti strands, you can just scrape them into a bowl. And you just take a fork and have small strokes to loosen the spaghetti strands. Well, that's hot. I'm back to my hot pad. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll scrape it down here. Now that it's all scraped, I'll put it into the bowl. Oh, got a little more. I've made a mess, but I've got all our spaghetti squash out. And if there's any chunks that didn't get shredded, you could just do that with a fork right now. So your little ends you cut off. If you had too much, you can scrape out the center of those two. There's a little in there. If you have any seeds, I've got a stray one. Pull that out. We'll let it cool a bit and we'll try it. Okay, I'm ready to try. So this is delicious as a side dish. You could make it as a main dish if you add more toppings like pasta sauce, cheese, meatballs. Anyways, I like just a little salt and pepper. Butter's good too. Let's try it. Mm. 
Mm. It's delicious, just like this. Try it. That's an easy way to cook it. If it's too hard for you to cut the squash before you cook it, you can try it this way. Okay? I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.